Let's talk about a very important class of distributions. It is the chi-squared distribution. It is a widely used distribution in the application problems of statistics, and it is typically seen and used when we are testing hypotheses about categorical data. Before we actually talk about some of these tests of hypotheses, we should know the properties of the chi-squared distribution. The first property is that the chi-squared distribution can only take on positive values. Negative values are not allowed in the chi-squared distribution. Unlike the normal distribution, which is symmetric, the chi-squared distribution is right-skewed. There are an infinite number of chi-squared distributions. A particular chi-squared distribution is determined by its the number of degrees of freedom associated with the distribution. How do we designate a chi-squared distribution? We use a capital cursive looking X, that stands for chi-squared, and we designate the degrees of freedom as a subscript. So this notation indicates a chi-squared distribution with degrees of freedom given by DF. The last property or characteristic of the chi-squared distribution is that the distribution is unimodal for degrees of freedom greater than 2. Let's look at four specific chi-squared distributions. In our first distribution, we have a chi-squared distribution with one degree of freedom. Notice that the chi-squared distribution with one degree of freedom is not unimodal. Here we have the chi-squared distribution with two degrees of freedom. Again, it is not unimodal. As soon as we get to a chi-squared distribution with three degrees of freedom, we see that the distribution is unimodal. And notice the mode occurs when the value of the random variable is one. And last, we have a chi-squared distribution with four degrees of freedom. Again, it is unimodal, and the mode occurs when the value is two. So when the distribution is unimodal, the mode actually occurs when the degrees of freedom are n minus 2, where n is the number of degrees of freedom.